Hi guys and welcome in the next video. So today I wanted to continue our KUKA journey and today I wanted to cover basics of work visual. Ready? Let's get started. Okay, so what is a work visual? So work visual is a software uh, that is used, that we use uh, for KUKA where we configure our robot. So for FANUC, there isn't any tool we, that we need in order to configure the whole robot. Unlikely in KUKA without work visual, you won't be able to commission the robot. You will be able, however, to program the robot. You can create programs, you can load programs, teach tools and everything, but you will not be able to do uh, the first commissioning of KUKA without using the work visual. So it's a very useful software that you need to have if you want to play with KUKAs and I'm going to go over basic. So what we're going to discuss is how do we connect the robot to work visual, how do we download the project, how do we upload the project, what is inside the work visual, just a few basics that uh, you probably want to know and you can play with later on. And all of that is going to be covered in the exercises. Uh, you will ask me what version of, of, of work visual do you need because there are quite a few. Well, it depends on the robot that you have. So usually when you have a robot and you have a project already loaded on the robot, then it will show you what a version of work visual is using. This way you can know what version of the work visual you can use. Because uh, work visual works only forward, it doesn't co it's not compatible backwards like most of the programs. So if your uh, project is going to be in the older version, then your work visual, you won't be able to uh, work on that project. I mean, you will be able, but you need to convert to a newer version. Okay, so that will be all from uh, the introduction and let's get to the exercises. Hi guys and welcome to the exercises. So uh, today we're going to connect work visual, which is the software for KUKA with the KUKA robots that we have in here. So first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, connect to the robot. There are two ways uh, of how you can do it. One, you can plug in into the network where the robot is connected, or second, you can connect directly into the KLI port that's inside the KUKA controller. However you do it, it's up to you. Uh, one thing you gotta remember, you need to set your IP to match the region of the robot IP. What am I talking about? Uh, let me show you. So uh, first of all, let's go to the robot and you want to go uh, to your network configuration. So you want to hit the robot icon, go to startup, network configuration. In here, you can fight, uh, find your uh, robot IP on the KLI port. So in my case, it's 172.31.1.147. So what you need to do is you need to uh, set your IP on your PC to be in that range, just remember for the ending to be different. Uh, one thing to remember guys, there are uh, restricted IPs that you cannot use. I would uh, recommend for you to check those out to make sure you don't use them because that's going to uh, break the robot and you might not be able to connect to the, uh, you might not be able to connect the teach pendant to the cabinet later on, but that's a different topic for a different discussion. Okay, so as you know your IP, now you wanna uh, go to your uh, system settings, you wanna go to your uh, network and internet settings, ethernet, and change adapter options. As we are in here, uh, what we can do is we go to our ethernet, we go to properties, you wanna go to your TCP IP, uh, protocol, you want to hit properties and you want to set the correct IP in here. So you want to use your robot IP. Uh, I will not change it because that's my virtual IP. That's my uh, virtual network adapter. So I use it for simulation. But in your in your case, you want to put in uh, the uh, robot IP. Just remember that the ending has to be different. Then you will click OK. 
and uh, you will then connect to the robot. Once that's done, once you're in the uh, network from the robot, you can go ahead and switch over to work visual. So first thing that you want to do is you want to download a project from your robot. Uh, where is the project located on your robot? When you click on that icon that looks exactly like work visual, you will see in here uh, your active project and you will see all of the projects that are on the robot. So that's where the projects are and that's the work visual. Okay, so how do you download the project from work visual? Uh, sorry, from your robot through work visual. So when I hit on file, you want to go browse for project. After you're connected, you want to hit the refresh button. That, this way you will look for the available cells. In my case, you can see that the, uh, the cell is uh, available straight away. So you want to extend it, you want to open it. And normally that will be the IP of your robot. In my case, because it's a virtual connection, that's the connection to the virtual uh, controller and that's the virtual uh, IP. And you have few projects in here. So let me tell you what are those. So the current active project is always going to have the arrow in here. So this way, you know, this is your project that's actually active on the robot controller. And as you can see, when you take a look in here, you will see active project. It has that arrow in here. The name is working project, the same as in here. And you can see that it was created using work visual 6.0.18. So that this way, you know, uh, what version of work visual you have to use in order to uh, change or modify your project. Okay. So, uh, we have that. We establish that right now you want to click on the working project and you want to hit open. And as you can see on the robot controller, it says that it was saving the current project and work visual right now is downloading the project from the controller. After that's done, uh, you will see here a small uh, window saying that it's downloading. After it's downloaded, you'll be able to open the pro the, your robot in here. And there are quite a few settings I want to go and talk about. So first of all, you want to double click on safety control. This way, uh, we're going to open everything that's inside the robot. And right now we don't need the uh, robot teach pendant for nothing. So I'm going to extend our work visual. So as we have it full screen, it'll be a little bit easier for me to explain. So if you were, we're going to uh, do anything on the robot for now, there are two things that you probably care about. One is where are your files? Second, what is your mapping? So first let's talk about the files and the programs. So we have a files tab in here. Once you click it, you're going to see again a tree window. So you want to hit plus on your controller. You want to hit KRC R1 and here are your programs. So when we hit on the programs, you can see I have like a TCP program uh, that's actually on the robot controller. So right here, then you have uh, master reference user as well in here and collision detect in here. When you go one level up, you have your classic cell and you can see one level up in R1, there is the cell. So as you can see, uh, the layout in here will be exactly the same as on your robot controller. What's cool, you can edit the programs in here and later on upload the, the, pro, um, the programs onto the robot controller. So let's open uh, our TCP program, for example. You double click on it and you will see it in here. You will ha have all of the tabs in here uh, that you will double click and you can click the, close the one that you don't want by right clicking and click close. Okay, so we have you have your program in here. And as you can see, you can modify the program however you want. A good thing about the work visual uh, editing is it will help you like every C program uh, for programming. If there is an error or if there is something that's not okay, it will underline and says no end fault statement present, which means you need to end the fault in order for this line to work because I've deleted the letter L, let's put it back. And as you can see, everything is fine right now. 
So that's the first uh, thing that you can do with Work Visual, and that's editing the programs that are on the robot. Next thing, of course, is you can uh, do your safety stuff. You can change the access monitoring. You can change machine data, a lot of stuff that we'll talk about later on. Probably the thing that you uh, will be interested in is where do you find I.O. mapping? So you have a small icon in here that says open the I.O. mapping editor. You want to click on it and you will open your I.O. mapping editor. As you can see, you, there is a left side and the right side. Uh, we're going to go into more details later on just for now so you know that robot doesn't have anything assigned but what you want to do usually is you want to op open your field buses on the right hand side and on the left hand side you want to have your inputs and outputs so later on uh, as you click as your for your input for example and as we're going to ha to have some devices in here they will show up in here and then you will have uh, your inputs that are on the robot on this side and whatever will be available on the devices on the right hand side and we'll be able to connect the input or output from the device to the robot input or output clicking by the connect button it's gray out right now because we don't have any devices added yet we'll do that later on guys so that's where you can look up your input and outputs uh, everything will be shown in here uh, and uh, you'll be able to kind of troubleshoot and find out what's up with your connections Going back to uh, the tree, the file tree, there is also one more very important fu function and that's, and that's exporting your programs. So if you want to export the program, you want to double click. So both things will be selected. You want to right click on it. You want to cl click export and you can export the file wherever you want. And that will export only the selected files and you can have them available let's say uh, on your desktop or in the folder that, that you want uh, this way you can later on download just single file to your robot you don't need to download the uh, whole project onto the robot you're going to just click ok and the files are going to be exported to the destination selected all right uh, also a uh, very important thing guys for, so for example you want to uh, make some changes in your config that also, you want to do this here. You want to change your uh, home position. You can look for the uh, home position in here. It has the work visual has a search function and you can change your home position also in uh, in here as well as on the teach pendant, whatever you like. But uh, the work visual is really powerful tool that you will definitely need in order to configure your KUKA robot. Now, if you made any changes on the KUKA robot, you would need to deploy the project that you've changed onto the KUKA robot. How do we do that? So there are two buttons in here. One is uh, generate code and the second one is deploy. So as you click the generate code, the work visual is going to check if everything in your configuration is okay. If there is no, no errors, if there are any errors, they will show up in here and you will know something is not okay. You need to change it in order to load it to the robot. Now, if you want to load it onto the robot, you want to hit the, dip, the deploy button right here. And basically, you can search for the controller on the network, but you can see it's very important, guys, always double check the robot name and the IP that you will be deploying into. Because you might, if you are connected to the network, you might deploy to the wrong robot and you don't want to do that. So as that's done, you want to hit uh, next. You can click as well finish. That will skip all of the... Uh, step-by-step -step, uh, procedures it's up to you you want to hit next one more time now you will deploy the project we already uh, went through the generate code which is the same button as in here that's done let's go next and now we, we wanted to load it but as you can see that the installation was cancelled because we are not logged in as expert on our uh, robot so let's go back and lo let's log in uh, as an expert. So you want to click on the users, expert, put in the expert password, enter. Okay, we are now logging as an expert and let's try one more time. So let's click deploy. This time I'm going to click finish. And as you can see, the robot will go through everything automatically. And now it says user input expect expected. So let's take a look at our robot. And it's asking, hey, do you want to 
uh, activate the project work visual the working project and the active project will be overwritten yes we do because we are loading the new project now if there are any changes between the old project and the new project they will be shown in here you can uh, always open the details and see exactly what has changed in your project after you check that and you're sure that you want to load it you want to click yes and the project will be ready for installation and the robot will go through its reconfiguration process. Once the reconfiguration process is, is finished and everything will be successful, your project will be automatically activated and set as an active on the KUKA robot controller. And your job is done over there. As you can see, uh, there is nothing to be done in here. You can click finish and you can wait just for the KUKA robot to finish its job. So as we wait uh, for the reconfiguration process, uh, you all, always want to uh, wait. I'm sorry, you always want to uh, save the project that you have on the work visual somewhere uh, on a safe location. So in case you make any mistake, you will be able to uh, recover the old project. So in case you want to save the, the project, you simply go going to do file, save project as and you can uh, name it, choose the location, name it however you want, click save, and that's going to save the project onto the location and you can then save it as one more time, let's say one. This way, now you'll be working on the new project and the old project is going to be stored in a save location. So you won't be overwriting the only project, project that you downloaded you'll be actually working on the good, uh, on the backup, let's say, projects. Important guys, do not uh, work on the projects that are not checked because what might happen is you will download to the robot, but then everything uh, will change and your stuff is not going to work. Not the best option. Okay, and as you can see, uh, we have our project active. You can see the hour, it matches the hour on the clock. That means your project is active. Uh, whatever you changed is going to be now active on the robot. In case of any errors, you'll get them here. And that'll be all from the work visual basics, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. All right. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, don't forget to leave your comments down below. Give it a like, subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.